All right, we have Mermaid Song. Um, talks about a lot of different things. It's just fun reading. Some of it may resonate for your current situation, lifestyle, or whatever have you. Uh, just a fun reading. Let me pull some cards. See what we got here. And we'll get into the reading. We have chair filled. Somebody new is entering your life. We have a wall. We have misunderstanding. We have a change for the better with the butterfly. We have a bell. We have an announcement. Um, we have a rose. Romance in the air. We have a skull. We have hidden secrets can harm you. We have a bird perched, uh, waiting for news, package, or a letter. We have firecracker excitement. We have a September person, or a month, or whatever. This could have some aspect to your current situation. Or later on it could. Okay. We have horseshoe. We have good luck. We have needle and thread, a secure... A sincere wish will be granted. We have November. It could be somebody's birthday or an aspect to something happening. Um, okay, we have Mountain. A major challenge to overcome. We have February. That could be somebody's birthday or an aspect or next year. Or it could be some something that happened in February. We have Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. We have Success. We have scissors, we have disappointment in some affair. We have July, that could be somebody's birthday or an aspect. Um, we have pale, time to get out of a situation. We have a flute, we have disappointment in a friend or a lover. We have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. And then we have April, that could be somebody's birthday or the month coming up actually. So any of these could work and whatever else, you know, okay, so the first one, the sailor could be masking, uh, challenges or successes, and number three could be all about their money, so you could pick any of these, depending on how you feel about the sailor in your story, um, so masking a person um, seeing their partner through possessions, vanity, turned into belongings of other people's. Um, challenges and successes for group two. Um, for as long as they feel their entire life has been great with purpose, they will be fine. But this is a state that runs off of pretty pretty quickly and pushes them to new activities, choices, and and changes in their own life path that happen too often for the rest of the world to understand fully. Then we have all about the money. We have pursue creative and spiritual pursuits. Okay, so any of those uh, could resonate for anybody in this situation or that's listening to this reading, so... Okay, so number two, we have the sinking. So, group one, uh, sensing something. Number two, we have understanding. And then number three, we have talks smack. Okay, we have sensing something. We have a poorly set position. This can make a person see their partner through their possessions, vanity, turned into belongings of other people. This was 
in the first one too with masking so somebody here is just they want what other people have or they want everything that their partner has or they've married somebody for their money um, with number two we have understanding have the ability to recognize the value of all things in relationships other people and um, experiences in life okay and then we have talk smack for number three we have a person who always seems to be in search of consistency okay uh, usually people that get like a lot of money they look for consistency in their own life and they look for consistency in other people as well um, if you want to get a lot of money it has to be a consistent level like you can time people by it, you know the the more exact the timing is the better the day's gonna be for money and all this so there's no surprises okay so number three we have transformation we have the first group with restlessness we have the second group with fake account and we have the third group with opportunities um okay so we have number one with healing energy so give yourself a break and commit to practices that allow you to be present and self-compassionate we have number two with fake account a person always seems to be in search for consistency like the last one on group three then we have number three we have opportunities we have strange sensitive and unknown sources so could also be your business if you're like me and you do like tarot readings or you do psychic readings um based on like the sky and this time of the season and stuff you can get a lot of money for that like you don't understand <laughs> like if you're good at it and you can actually like connect with like people that's why I do readings, but I do more chart readings than anything. I can tell you exactly at the time that you're going to meet somebody and all that from your chart reading. So it is what it is. But anyway, but anyway, number four, we have the tail, either mermaid tail or the actual tail of the sea. Um, so group one, we have fig fits well together. It could be a relationship or a business organization number two we have an offer and number three we have a gold digger um, so <laughs> first one we have fits well together a person on a mission born with a higher cause that needs to be recognized number two we have an offer we have home and family a, a parental figure and number three we have gold digger represents are deeper bonds for life and they will be hard to achieve built up but extremely successful every step of the way so depending on where you find yourself um, okay number five we have the song so we have the song in group one is coming to an end the song in group two is negative body image that's nice that's always a great chanty love song um number, <laughs> number three is protection and safety okay so group one is coming to an end so bold and ready to take any challenge um, number two, negative body image. Um, you'll find it hard to forgive yourself for it, but no matter how successful you may be, it, it could be a bit of a problem for you, or it might be just an aspect of, your, of yourself that you don't feel 100% about. Okay, number three, we have protection and safety. You're overwhelmed need for the next level sexual attraction may lead to superficial connections okay so there's protection and safety here as well all right that's good um so the last one is the story as a whole 
So the first group we have small minded, you need to focus. Number two, we have help helping for the better. There's always an ego battle that has to be recognized. And then number three, we have codependent. We have seeking balance and mending relationships with people that don't drain your energy. So, um, I feel like number three is more realistic, but that's just me. The other two groups are kind of like, let me see. The other two groups, one and two, are more on, like, shaky ground. Like, they don't know where to go. They're just like, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do this. With group three, they're just like, I'm going to do this, this, and this. Because it's worked before, okay? And usually with any type of writing or main cause and effect, you want a consistent type of thing. So, group three, for most people, it'll happen. If you picked any of the other groups, you might have to find um, out where the block is, either in a friendship, relationship, or in a lifestyle that you've been doing for, like, your career or something. And you might want to switch it up. Um, a lot of things aren't meant for everybody, so, like, it, you might have to move on from something that's not working for you, all right? Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully you like this. I know it's a little bit it's a little bit too on the nose for some people and it could be triggering, but it's it's nice. It's nice to have something that's straightforward in some cases. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. You take care of yourself, take care of everyone, and I will see you in the next reading. Alright? Later.